Hey guys, Philosopher here, and today we're going to try out Kestrel in DD4. Now, I should say before we start out here, my Kestrel is larger than a lot of people's. It's five yellow star, uh, five red star. And the reason that I have the yellow stars is I've been doing the 50 and 100 core energy refreshes on the event energy every day. I've also bought the offers. So please take that into account. This is maybe a little bigger than your Kestrel, but I think... You know, frankly, we've seen Kestrel's awesome at three stars, four stars, five stars. I think that my level of investment in my Kestrel will be enough to give you a sense of what Kestrel appears uh, to do in DD4. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start here with the unrestricted node, and we're going to do this video on that. I'll have a later video where we'll show her in Cosmic. But what I wanted to do was pick a typical starter team that is a reasonable starter team that mo many people are using and use that team with Kestrel and see how she does as the fifth member. And what, uh, you know, the folks on my Discord have said is that, you know, if we included Kestrel, the other characters that everybody is using to start off with is, you know, Emma, uh, Sinister, Zemo, uh, and, uh, and Ghost for Global. And that makes a lot of sense to me. Look, that's a very good team. Uh, Zemo isn't very good. Uh, he's pretty brittle. Um, but the rest of these characters are actually, um, you know, you know, very durable. And they're amazing uh, in the global section. In fact, I would say Ghost, Sinister, and Emma are three of the absolute top performers. This, this, is, this team's going to do very well. The question is, what does Kestrel bring to this team that others don't? So let's test this out. Let's see how they do. I'm gonna, I like to do this testing every month to see and update my DD4 infographic. I'm going to include a link below, and I'll just let you know it's not updated for Kestrel yet. I'm going to see how well Kestrel does. I always do testing before I do the infographics, and I also talk to other people who are actually testing the characters. I don't want to do anything based on speculation or guesswork. So it's really, uh, I'm really trying to be careful about that with the DD4 infographic. But I, I expect Kestrel to be good. Uh, the question is just how good? Is she a top performer? Uh, is she just okay? Um, you know, we'll see. You know, remember her damage shouldn't be that special here. Uh, but I don't know. It might be. It just adds up, right? In other words, these enemies have a lot of health. So that's why the percentage-based damage is usually the way to go, which is what Ghost brings to the table and her own. But, you know, you know, I don't know. She gets those pings are pretty nice. All right, so here we go. We've got Zemo. Let's do the ability block here. And then I'm going to get – I'm going to do this here. All right. Um, all right, so that was actually a mistake. I should not have aimed for Taskmaster there. All right, well, that worked out. All right. And I am going to try to flip. Yes, there we go. We got defense down. That's huge. Uh-oh, Ghost is almost dead. All right, let's clone. I'm going to clone... Um, I'm going to clone right now Invisible Woman because I think my team has plenty of damage and stuff. Just needs a little bit more sustain. And her kit is really nice. So like here, for example, this is going to help me a lot by... Actually, you know what? I will use this first. Let's get, let's get that barrier out there and the offense down. I think that's going to really help. All right, so now we're going to go after Invisible Woman. All right, let's try, let's try to, oh, did not get rid of the defense down, but wow, that's, that's huge damage. That damage is really something. Okay. Not quite as big as that. Wow. That ping is really nice. All right, well, let's, let's see here if we can erase Invisible Woman. Yes. Wow. Okay. All right. I think we're going to heal up just because. Should I heal up? Now, I'm going to wait. Even, you know, we'll wait even though Zemo's a little close to dying. Let's face it. In this game mode, Zemo's always going to be close to dying because he's so, um, 
It's fragile for DD4. Okay. So far, so good. Wow. This is really good. I Don't you... Doesn't it feel to you like Kestrel is doing a lot with her uh, with her pings here? I mean, this is very significant damage, even for DD4. Wow. I love it. Right now, by the way, the wave is still starting, so you always want to with these things. Okay, we're going to do a heal now, get everyone up. But generally with these waves, all I really want to do is just reset cooldowns before the next wave comes. Kestrel's actually hurting that a little bit by doing so much damage. Okay, so here you you got to focus on Falcon and Rescue, but you know what I'm seeing here is at least in the early nodes, the damage is so significant that you know this is this is really good. Wow. All right. Well, now we got that. I'm going to spread defense down here as well. All right. So now I got a lot of defense down on characters. And we'll do this. All right, we like that. Amazing. Wow. We're just basically deleting Falcon here. And boy, those pings are making a very significant difference. All right, let's see what we're doing. Well, I'm going to spread some more defense down over here. I think we like having that there. Just to have additional targets. And there we go. Now we got to focus rescue pretty hard. We really want rescue to get down because she can cleanse my defense downs, which is not good. But I will tell you, it really feels like Kestrel, I'm going to go here. We already have enough defense downs. It really feels like Kestrel's changing my entire strategy here. If you, you know, when I originally played this node, you know, back in whatever it was, December, it was all about, you know, uh, the uh, sinister clones and things like that. Here, he's more or less a bystander. And we are focusing a lot on who to ping. That is that is a pretty big change. And oops, I forgot she, she lost her defense up. All right, let's erase a lot of choices here. I'm going to erase Shocker. I mean, Vision and Ironheart are really good choices, though, and I probably should have erased Ironheart. I'll have to turn Rewinder or something. Wow. All right, let's focus on Rhino. Oh, he doesn't have it. Okay. Well, we'll do this. I always love taking off health. Can't. Let's see. There we go. All right. I got to tell you guys, Kestrel seems almost certain to be a top performer here. That is amazing. Uh, isn't it? I mean, when you see this, now Ghost is I would say doing more here because one thing you don't see with Ghost is that she provides 50% is offense down and obviously it's super nice that you know we have invisible woman on our team thanks to Sinister so I'm not trying to say that Sinister isn't providing value here either but man it really feels like you know it, you could argue that Kestrel is the most pro is the most powerful character here in terms of what she's bringing to the table for DD4, and that's that's surprising to me. I I really didn't expect her to be quite that good. I thought she was going to be a character who was good, but didn't shine here the way that she shines elsewhere in other game modes. And I guess what I'm finding is actually she shines here just as much. It's going to be very interesting when I do the next video in the Cosmic Nodes to see if she's quite as good in Cosmic. Because if she's this good in Cosmic, she's going to be a really hard choice to pass up there. Let's face it, I mean, in Cosmic, you know, there are some good choices. Obviously, the Dad Bros and Silver Surfer, but she might be able to take it to the next level. Wow. Very impressive performance, guys. This is obviously just a first peek. I'll do more with her in Cosmic soon. But this is exciting. I definitely think she's going to be somewhere 
in my new infographic coming up, the question is just, is she a top performer or not? We'll decide that when I take her into Cosmic, but for now, I hope this was informative to you. So if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. Please check out our Twitch stream, link below. I, I, I stream most nights and also check out our Discord that is also linked below. Great discussions there.